What are we even doing here? We're learning how to eat sardines. Who's this video for? This is for somebody that's right on the edge that maybe has a can in their cupboard or they've been thinking about adding some fish to their diet, but um, they're a little squeamish about it, or maybe they had a bad experience with sardines in the past, you know, or, or, or maybe you're just the type of person that doesn't want to try anything for the first time until they've watched a YouTube tutorial video about it doesn't matter. We're just going to get right into it. We're going to make all the weird stuff go away. Right? Right? Right. So what have I got here? This is a can of King Oscar sardines in extra virgin olive oil. These are bristling sardines, which means that they're kind of like little fish that are caught way up north. The only thing that matters is that these are pretty good and uh, you can get them like anywhere. Like I see them every place. King Oscar, they're they're the brand. You know, you can spend a lot more than King Oscar, but you don't want to spend too much less, right? You get what I'm saying? Okay. One thing to notice about sardines is uh, they got a long shelf life. Like I don't have any plans for 2026 yet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sardines are pretty healthy. They got no preservatives, you know? They're like preserved by the action of having been canned. All this has got is sardines and olive oil and like some salt. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, I thought, the, I thought this was just gonna fly like away and out of the frame. Okay, so uh, like they all open this way. Uh, old timey ones opened a different way, but these, they've got a little tab and you open them up. And uh, look, they're all just sitting here waiting for you. Now, let's just, let's just think about it. And by the way, I got chopsticks here to eat them with. Uh, forks work great. That is the correct way to hold the fork. The most sensible way, the most common way. I use chopsticks because um, if you're pretty good at using chopsticks, I think they're they're great for handling sardines. And plus they stay out of the way of the, the shot. So like, let's play with the sardines here. Let's not play with them too much though. This one just comes out, he's on his own. And you see like, I don't know. It's weird because it's a whole fish, right? Like this is kind of like, what the fish looked like in life. But he's a really good, nice guy to eat. And he doesn't have his head or anything like that. And he's delicious. Absolutely delicious. And you see, we got this olive oil. It's really tasty. And nothing, nothing weird happened. You know? Okay, let's have another one. This one's still got a little tail in. Okay, sure. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. Inside of these guys, there's, there's some bones. If I took them apart, or if one of these happens to fall apart on us, we're gonna see like kind of the spine of this guy, you know? But, when you just put the fish in your mouth, you don't sense the spine. And it's so soft. It's not like a bone, like a chicken bone, or if you eat fish that's supposed to be filleted and like there's accidentally a bone that's left in it and you just, you really don't want to swallow it. It's not like that. I don't know, I don't know what else to sort of, um, compare it to where it's just like, I don't know what you eat that's like, oh, there's just a part of it that you kind of can just deal with. Um, I'll get back to you. <laughs> yes, this one kind of fell apart and you can see, look, he's got a spine, but you've got a spine too. So don't know, acting like it's gross, you know? Real nice, real nice. Okay, now, if, if any of you are uh, veterans here, you know, uh, sardine veterans, um, 
you're gonna say, hey man, don't you know you can eat these with crackers? Yes, 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 you can eat these with crackers. Crackers are great with sardines. I don't bother. I just eat sardines over the sink real fast. I don't even, I don't even think about like, uh, adding any carbs into the picture. But like crackers, if the texture is weirding you out at all, crackers are just gonna mitigate that to the floor, man. I think some like club crackers or Ritz crackers, or dang, I, I, I grew up eating them on saltines. That's good too. That's how my, uh, my dearly departed Father Tommy to eat sardines it was on saltines. Mm. Yummy days. What's great with sardines? Beer is. I mean, you know, beer is a great uh, beverage for any kind of like party time. I don't want to give the idea to the kids out there that drinking beer is cool, but I just find it so good with sardines. Like, I want you to have all the facts. Yeah, you know, nice. Mmm. So these are bristling sardines, and bristling means that they're basically like a uh, kind of smaller species of fish that you can still call a sardine, you know? A lot of time in the supermarket, if you see a can and it's kind of shaped like this, like it's kind of flat, it's not like taller, it's gonna be these kinds of bristling sardines. The ones that are like a little skinnier can and maybe a little taller, those are usually like a bigger species called a pilchard. They're a lot fewer in the can. These, there's so many, right? Because when we opened these, they were packed like sardines, right? This is a pretty guy. These guys, you know, you see, you see sort of the pretty side here where you get this nice gradient of colors. So there's blues and grays and pearly whites. Delicious. Just a little bit of salt, richness of the fat of the fish and also of the olive oil. Very, very tasty. One thing I wanna tell you is that, like with any kind of natural food product, weird stuff will happen, especially with like really cheap sardines, you'll get like a weird can every once in a while. If something really doesn't taste good, you're like, oh, this is wrong, then don't worry about it. Just get rid of them. Try another can, try another brand, you know? But I've never had a trouble can with any, any reputable brand like King Oscar. No. Mm. These are so good. These are so good. Mm. And, buddy, let me tell you, you can put hot sauce on these. Oh, mm. Hot sauce on your sardines. You know, it knocks them right out of the park. Yeah. Oh yeah, finishing off strong. Nice whole guy here. So anyway, that's it. That's all there is to it. I would encourage you to check out one of my like 70 something sardine review videos because you're gonna learn a lot more about what you'll find inside of all these different cans. And it becomes like this weird tasting journey that's not unlike what you do with like wine or craft beer where you know you taste one that you really like and you try to find ones that are similar to that and then you realize after a little while that your like sort of sensibilities have changed and you like different things and you branch outwards and outwards and outwards are you chewing gum anyway thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye bye this is it You've made it to the end. I've rewarded you with a cat. I think it's time for you to subscribe. It makes everything easier for both of us. And watch some more videos. If you're trying to go to sleep, they work for that. If you're trying to stay awake, they do that too. This is all whatever you want it to be. Bye.